In this one, we're going to go over a lick that I really associate with Zach Wilde. I saw him do it once in this documentary and it hit me like a brick. I thought that is a great little, very easy lick that I can get into my playing and I've been using ever since. The idea of these videos is not to just show you licks from superstars, but to give you little ideas that you can put into your playing and you can take ownership of that gives you a little bit more in your trick bag and a little bit more of a palette to play with when you improvise. Here's a little example. I'm not trying to sound like Zach. I'm not trying to whip his style, but here's an example of how you can use that lick and some pictures of Zach to have a look at while you do it. Here we go. basics of the lick are really, really simple. It's a six note pattern, it's a descending pattern, and it's grouped into two groups of three. We're gonna do it in the key of C sharp minor or E major, just using that pentatonic box at the ninth fret. Watch, here's how we do the very, very basic version. Like I say, it's two groups of three, and we're gonna start there in that pentatonic box at the ninth fret. <laughs> that one that you all know and love. And it's simply first string, pull off to the second string. There's three notes. First string, 12th, ninth, second string, 12th. The second part of the lick is just starting there and doing it descending three notes again. So first string, ninth fret, second string, 12th, and then a pull off to the ninth again. So pull off, pick, Pick, pull off. Three notes, three notes. Put it together. And you've got that. So that's the basics of it. Let's just think about how we're gonna extend that and get it into your playing and do a few more things than just play it in one static position. Watch. Obviously it's a dead simple pan, so you can play it there. We can play it on the next pair of strings, next pair of strings, etc. We can play it all the pairs of strings. But you can also move it up. You can move it down. You can do both. You can keep going up and up and up if you want to. Or you can move it across the strings. You can do a combination of the two. Or you can do what I did in that lick at the beginning. And what I did was I started here. Worked up two strings, doing it twice. Then I started moving it across the strings and up again. Putting those little combinations together really helps get it into your playing and do more than just a static lick. There's nothing wrong with the lick that stays exactly where it is, but when you can do more with it, it's always a little bit more fun. The other thing you can do is trying to get it out of the pentatonic boxes so you can do it with a major scale. Think about a major scale like this one. E major scale. Or here. Some great little things to experiment with. Try it with stretchy patterns. Try changing one of the notes each time, watch. Here's that C sharp minor pattern again. Try it there. Then move the top note up instead of there, make it there. So you've got. You can take this one anywhere you like, but if you like the video, if you got something from that, don't forget to subscribe, like, do all of those things, I really appreciate it. And there's lots more of these videos coming with short ideas that you can get in your playing really, really quickly.